hi guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time on my videos then hi my name is abir and i'm recently graduated from arizona state university with my bachelor's in aerospace aerospace engineering with an emphasis in astronautics and i'm also working as a space systems engineer my videos are usually about everything that i love engineering being a student uh, learning languages so if that's something that you're interested in please subscribe Okay, so I usually get a lot of um, messages from everybody asking me how to succeed as an aerospace engineering student, what kind of tools uh, you need to pretty much make your life easier. As we all know, if you're a current aerospace engineering student or you're an incoming freshman in aerospace engineering, um, it's not really going to be an easy I don't know, adventure, I guess, if I dare to call it an adventure. Um, it's going to be very difficult, so I just believe that there are these things that I usually do that I follow that make my life a little bit easier um, so I pretty much just want to put a disclaimer out there of course in order to succeed in anything you need to first be interested and have the drive to study aerospace engineering but I'm just gonna assume that all of you are in love with aerospace engineer as much as I was or I am currently so I put a little list um, together from my own experience what I use to just make my life easier or uh, small things that I thought were helpful when I was an um, under, undergraduate student. As we all know, school is going to start soon and my classes are going to start in August 16th, I think. Let me know down below when you guys are going to start school. Uh, but you know that I'm already graduated, but I still have about six classes. Yeah, six classes to complete my master's, so I'm going back next semester taking two classes and also working full-time. So I'm pretty much making this video for me to get ready for classes and also for you um, to give you some advice on how to start the semester strong. Okay, so first of all, the one most important thing in my opinion, and I feel like this is the one thing that I would live and die by um, just because it was extremely helpful for me, is planning. Um, I feel like every student or every human being who's super busy needs to have a planner. Just because in aerospace engineering, you at least have like five homeworks and labs or whatever it is due every each week and it's extremely hard to keep track of everything. So I really, really feel like you need to have a planner where you can just lay out your whole week and uh, be able to visually uh, understand what you have to do for that week. So what I do usually is that is that um, on every Sunday I sit down for like five to ten minutes and then I write down all of the stuff that I have to do for that week and the week after just because it's not enough at least for aerospace engineer it's not enough to know what you have to do for that week only you need to have uh, you, you need to be able to know what you have to do for at least weeks in advance So I'll just sit down and review my planner and just pretty much like write down whatever I need to do for that specific Week and week after sometimes the whole month I know it's not possible to plan a whole month like in it's, uh, it's all entirety But I just sit down and write whatever is important if I have midterms if I have like important meetings if I have Important homework to or all homeworks. I actually write down regardless of what it is um so um, as you can see here, like this is a busy month, let's say the month of May, which is the month that I, I think this was the last month of uh, my senior year. So I had presentations, I had a study to do, I had like a final, there was just a lot to do. So I pretty much lay out everything that I need to do and um, I don't really like bullet journaling or I'm not sure what they call it but you pretty much just go in details into what you need to write down uh, I feel like I necessarily don't have time for that and it's sometimes a waste of time to me um, if you love that then just go ahead and do it don't worry about me but um, I just like this um, setup where you just have the whole month and you write down whatever you need to do for the specific day just in kind of like little stars and little bullets um, but yeah, this is uh, something that I follow all the time. I started doing this in when I started college and I feel like it has helped me so much just because I you think you would remember what you need to do like sometimes I'd be in my car and I'd be like oh I need to do so and so when I get home and then I get home literally like 10 minutes later and I, I'm like what? what was I supposed to do and it just I just can't remember so writing down stuff that's important I think is really really helpful just because um, Professors sometimes change dates uh, instead of just you having to go online and check every time you just have everything down on your calendar and um, Yeah, I mean a calendar is such I, I feel like it's such a genius idea. This is like the best 
I don't know, is it an invention? I don't know, but this is the best thing that a person could have ever have. But um, this calendar is something, not a calendar, this is a planner. <laughs> this planner I got from Muji store. I'm not sure if you guys know what that is. It's like a, a Japanese um, stationery store that I freaking love. It's my favorite store ever. And it was super cheap. It's not really that great of quality. It's pretty simple. You have the whole year, you have a uh, like few empty pages to write whatever you need in them. And uh, I believe it was $4, so it's pretty cheap. Um, not really that expensive, but I've been using it for the whole year and now it's kind of like not in the greatest uh, shape. That is not it. I have something else to share with you guys. I am super, super happy um, and flattered that um, this planner company from Sweden called Personal Planner. Their website is personalplanner.com. They were super nice to reach out to me and ask me if I wanted to try their planner and talk about it if I think it's something that I like. And okay, so I went a little bit overboard just because they gave me the freedom to plan my own planner. It's pretty much personalize it. And I was like, all right, well, let's see how crazy I can go with this. So I was just pretty much like picked my pictures on it and like front and back, like my graduation pictures. I don't know. I, I know I went a little bit overboard, but I really wanted to see like how, how extreme their product can go. But um, to keep it simple, you pretty much go online, you pick the size of, of your planner that you want. They have different sizes and you personalize everything, like everything, every single page. You personalize what kind of design you want on the front page and the back page. Um, the, you can put your own pictures for sure, but um, they have like designs that they already have on their system that you can just choose if you just want something simple and not go too crazy like me. But I just wanted to see like how good of quality it is if I, if I if I provide my own pictures. But it's such a good quality. I'm so surprised like how good it is. I thought that it was gonna be like grainy or something like that, but it's definitely not. It's such a good quality, and I have my name right here, and right here I have another picture. Um, so they have this plastic thing to kind of protect it over it, but it's and then you can just see the picture. It's such a good quality. Um, and okay, so you choose whatever you need to be, like whatever front and uh, back you need or you want. And then um, you also design the insides. I love being able to do that because I always, I'm never really satisfied with the layout of a lot of the planners that, that are already pre-made. You just go, I don't know, to Bar Barnes and Nobles or you just go to the store and buy. So I think this is such a genius idea that you give the customer, the client, the choice to pretty much just design their own planner and make it the way that that you like, you know? So I pretty much just designed it myself. Um, I sectioned it into days, like each week. I have a long um, vertical uh, section where I can just write whatever I need to do for that day. And I feel, and I still I still have the, the capability of just seeing my whole week in, in one, like not one page, but two pages, but you just see the whole thing. Um, and you also have the choice of having uh, whatever I like, pretty much like the whole month laid out. This is such a good, I, I, don't, I don't know. I mean, you guys know me, I wouldn't really, I'm not really doing this to become famous or like to sell products on my YouTube channel. And I've gotten emails before that ask me, hey, try this clothes or try this and try that. And if I don't, it's not something that I feel like would help you guys, I wouldn't really like promote it. But I feel like this is such a necessary thing. And being able to personalize your own um, planner is such a good, I don't know, it just makes, makes me happy like I love planning but then when I have something that's that nobody else has it just makes me really happy I'm like this is my planner like this is something that I that I made myself it might be a little bit extra but nonetheless it's mine <laughs> but yeah um, they were really kind to give me a 15% uh, off code if you guys are interested in using uh, their product I will put it somewhere in the screen um, so yeah I really hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I will this will be my next year's planner for my master's degree and if anything changes I'll definitely make sure to let you guys know if I love it more or I hate it after but for now I think it's such a good planner such a good quality um, and yeah thank you so much personal planner for sending me this or for giving me the opportunity to share this product with everybody okay next thing is um, something that I get questions about a lot is what kind of laptop do I need to have as an engineering student and I necessarily don't have a preferred type of laptops um, my one 
necessity I guess is weight I really need my laptop to be not as heavy just because Arizona State University or the Tempe campus is, is so big and I would be walking from class to class and my previous laptop was super heavy that I would come home and my back is super strained so I decided to just get a, a very a good laptop but also be really really light I think this is about two kilos or something like a pound something that's not really that heavy and it's a Lenovo Yoga uh, let me read what kind it's an Intel Core i5 7th generation so it's nothing really like super computer style it's just simple because you will need it for your software that you'll be using in school like MATLAB, SOLIDWORKS and all the software you'll be needing um, so it's important to have a laptop that you can rely on because I have friends who use their brother's laptop or their sister's laptop that are like seven years old and trust me they've lost their, their work like a lot of my friends actually like they're all, all of a sudden your laptop dies on you and then all of your work is gone so I would really recommend you uh, invest in a laptop that would not really cause you any troubles because I'm still very traditional I like writing down on a notebook and with my own handwriting but you will definitely be doing a lot of work on your laptop like all of your homework is in there um, all of your submissions or not all of them most of your submissions are going to be in there and also your softwares like MATLAB are going to be in there so you're going to be spending long hours on MATLAB writing code that's I don't know hundreds and hundreds of line and just imagine losing that I would I, would, I, would, I don't know I would flip out the question I get is oh should I get a Mac or should I just stick with an you know a regular PC honestly I don't really have anything to, like I, I don't mind having Macs but I just feel like they're unreasonably like expensive it's like $1,500 for a laptop that's a lot of money so if you can if you don't this one was $700 I think which is still expensive but it's not bad I just went to Best Buy which is only in the United States I think I don't know I'm not sure and um, I just bought a laptop from there um, and it's really good quality I've never had a problem with it I think this is my second year yeah I think it's my second year with this or third year I can't remember um, I don't really have any issues with it if you like Macs that's fine sometimes there are some compatibility issues with some software so you need to be aware of that but most of the time people don't really have problems with it it's just that it's really expensive and I don't really see the need to pay $1,500 for a laptop okay so um, speaking of technology or things you might need this is my calculator I did get a few questions about what calculator I need to use um, there isn't really a specific calculator that engineers use we just it just has to be scientific the one I use is really really simple it's just a TI 30XS super simple I've had it for like five years and I bought it from Walmart or Target I can't remember but that was the time when I was super broke I didn't really want to spend a lot of money on a calculator so this one was super cheap it's solar powered you don't really need to change batteries or worry about it going off while you're on an exam or something like that um, and I've seen students getting those super fancy calculators where you can graph stuff for you and you can connect it to your computer and they're really unnecessary just because during the exams you can't use them the professor will specifically tell you that you need very simple scientific calculators you cannot use the ones that can connect to the internet or that can connect to your computer or that can graph stuff or that can derive stuff or any of the complicated mathematical um, things that you might be using they will not allow you to use them so it's better to just get used to a simple calculator because people rely on very like complicated calculators where they can do very complicated uh, math for you and when you take that away from them and you ask them hey how do you do the derivative to, to this function and they're just like uh wait let me find my calculator so if you rely on it too much it's probably not a good idea it makes you really lazy and do you really know what you think you know when you actually just let your calculator do everything i don't think so so just get a really simple one that can just do simple math and is a scientific calculator that's all you need you don't really need the complicated ones at all Okay, um, another thing that I think is really necessary as a college student in general is um, having good earphones. I've used were very uh, cheap. I bought them from Amazon. I think they were less than twenty dollars, 
and I just like listening to music while I'm working because I enjoy working in, a, in an environment like a coffee shop where everybody is very productive or like a library but I can't deal with um, the, the unpredicted sounds that go around so I like having something that's really predictable in my my head so that I can focus on what I'm working on um, and to go with that people ask me what kind of music I listen to I usually listen to the Spotify playlist I can't really remember what it's called but I put it I'll put it somewhere here but it's, I usually listen to classical music just because there's no lyrics so there's really nothing to distract me but I love classical classical music nonetheless um, I'm a big Chopin and yeah, <laughs> I don't know really want to go on a tangent right now, but yeah, that's usually what I listen to while I'm working on my homework or trying to study or something like that. Uh, some people can't study with music and that's fine, but that's pretty much what I listen to. Currently, I'm using the earpods from um, Apple and I love them. They're really good. Um, I just don't think you need to spend that much money on a pair of headphones. So if you can find, find something on Amazon that's cheaper, I would recommend you just use that. Another thing um, that I want to talk about is a backpack. I've been asked what kind of backpack I use and this is the one that I use. It's pretty cute. I like the color. It's a New Balance backpack. Very good quality. It wasn't really expensive at all. I bought it from the mall. I can't remember what store it is, but you can probably find it online. I bought it for like $50, which is not really that bad because I've seen some backpacks that are like a couple hundred dollars and I just can't spend that much money on backpack or anything for that matter. I'm pretty cheap if you guys didn't notice, but um, this one has been with me for three years almost. The one I had before kind of like started dying on me, so I had to get a new one and it's been doing really good besides needing some cleaning um it's very sturdy i like how comfortable it is um i like how it balances my back because i i have like i hate when i have to or i just have a problem with some of my back like neck muscles so i like something that's going to be really comfortable especially if i'm going to be carrying a bunch of stuff in my backpack and walking uh, a lot and i also love how it's just a big section in there and there isn't really like a lot of compartments because i hate to have to like keep looking everywhere for like where I put my, I don't know, my calculator or something. So I just like ha how it has just one big compartment and one small one where you can put all of your pens and pencils and that's pretty much it. And uh, the one important thing you need in a backpack is also having like a laptop compartment because you're gonna always have your laptop and you need somewhere where you put your charger and your laptop and that's it, that's all you need. So yeah, this one was pretty good. If you have already have like a backpack that's not, that's like large enough from high school and you can just use that you necessarily like don't really need a, a very very fancy like backpack at all all right something else that i think you guys will need as students of course it's really really important to stay hydrated and i feel like hydroplasts has been my friend um and buying bottles on campus not only is it expensive but you're also ruining the environment so I'm, I try my best not to just keep going back and forth like buying plastic bottles because it's extremely hot in Arizona and you're always like walking in the sun and you get to class and you're just super dry and you're just like oh my god I need water and water in school like from those fountains sucks it's the worst water ever and I just feel like it's really important to just have my own water bottle and this one keeps your water cold like I would have ice in it and next day there's still ice in there and this is like what 32 ounces which is about 946 milliliters and you can drink two of these and that's enough for the whole day so I really recommend you um, they're, they're pretty expensive it's like $45 which is kind of ridiculous for a bottle of water but it's such an important uh, like uh, accessory whatever it is it's not even an accessory it's an important tool for you to have in class like uh and and um on campus just because i remember during my first two years i had to take i don't know like 16 credits and that would be the whole day like i would go to class at 7 a.m. or 7 30 and then I wouldn't finish until like 5 p.m. so I'm at school the whole day because I would only have a couple of hours in between I don't want to go back home and then come back so having this was really really handy because I saved money and saved also the environment so stay hydrated kids all right you guys that was it I think that's pretty much everything that I really wanted to share with you guys uh, one of the main things I was I would take away from this is planning planning is really important you're gonna have days where you're just gonna be so overwhelmed you're just not gonna know what to do with yourself so just having something 
there to lay out what you need to do just makes it much easier on your brain and also your soul um, so make sure you have a planner make sure you stay organized because that's the number one thing you need to succeed as a student pretty much in anything but specifically in aerospace engineering so I will keep um, the information for personal planner down in the box so if you want to check them out and also uh, use the 15% um, off because why not it's cheaper that way and um yeah thank you so much for watching i really hope i really hope you enjoyed this video if you have anything else to, to, to add um if you feel like i've missed anything else or if you have any other questions please make sure to leave them in the comments below and as i always say if you have other questions you really don't want to share with everybody then go to my instagram and follow me and also dm me so that i make sure to answer all of you guys questions on there whenever i have a chance and yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!